Well, one of my favourite fashion moments this year was definitely when the Queen um, was in the back of her car going to the Royal Wedding. And she got there and she just got the rug that was on her lap and just flung it off and then just got out of the car. And I just thought, the Queen's a diva, amazing. <laughs> was she your favourite at the wedding? Well, I did like the yellow, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Did you like the dress, the wedding dress? Didn't, I didn't care at all about the wedding dress, but I liked the picture. Everybody in, in fashion was like, yes, it's a McQueen dress. Um, and I think everyone thought she looked pretty. But I agree with you, it was just a bit... I thought he looked good. Did he? Oh, I quite like the red. I just found the whole thing so boring, so wedding. Can we go to the next picture? Yes. <laughs> Victoria Becker, and I know she's. this has been the year where people have acknowledged that she's this great kind of amazing designer and she's got it all right and she's, what was the, she won an award, didn't she? She won the Brand of the Year Award at the British Fashion Awards. But I have a problem because she always looks, compared to Lady Gaga or someone, or even Kate Middleton, who looks like she's having a lovely time all the time. Victoria Beckham never looks comfortable in what she's wearing, I don't think. And this summed it up with the, the shoes that looked... It looks like self-harm or something, I think. <laughs> don't you think? Yeah. I must admit, I sort of think this shoe began to become just sort of a bit embarrassing, really. Well, also, it's all you can get in, on the high street. It's all, all you can get at the moment are these kind of spindly stiletto heels that you can't... This massive platform. brick front. Mm. This year, Women in Pop stopped wearing hot pants and a halter neck and a tan, I think, didn't they? And maybe a little kind of um, sparkly sandal. <laughs> and instead dressed as superheroes and cartoon characters and comic book characters. And it worked, didn't it? Well, I think I mean, the only thing I would say is that I got a bit fatigued by the sort of constant changing. I remember this Jessie J thing where yeah. she changed about three times and I was a bit like, oh, oh, just kind of became this sort of, I don't know, like she was sort of going backstage, they were throwing something else on her, she was coming back out and it was just, it felt like a sort of boring PR or how many designer dresses can I wear today mm -hmm. and then be on a red carpet where, I don't know. I actually really went off Rihanna this year. Why? I felt like when, she, when Rihanna first came on the scene, she did that thing where she'd go to fashion shows and sit front row and wear a head to toe look. And I thought, you don't have any style, so you're just wearing these outfits head to toe. Then she seemed to find a style, which was like somewhere between that and what this is now. It was like a bit designery, but a bit sort of like a bit of a leather jacket or a bit of something. Whereas now, it just feels like it's just, here I am, sex on a stick slap it in your face and it doesn't feel very sexy. I don't find this outfit very sexy. Do you not? No. I think she sums up that kind of jolly, cartoony thing quite well. Her tits exploded, didn't they? That was her thing. Yeah. She had no. <laughs> she had. Uh, she had fireworks coming. She had fire yeah. coming out of her bra. Yeah. That's right, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. This is like the opposite end <laughs> of kind of fashion iconography, From stiff, isn't it? From stiff yeah. to kind of. Balmy? Balmy. Is it balmy? I feel it, I feel it's sometimes quite contrived. I like that it's contrived though. At least it's fashion. Mm -hmm. And when she does discomfort, you understand it, you kind of get it, I think. You love Towie, don't I, you? I really do love Towie. And I think there are lots, maybe kind of four or five hundred things to say about it. But um, one, <laughs> one thing, looking at this picture that I remember, I went to do an interview at, at one of their houses. Um, last year, and in the downstairs loo, there are two bottles of fake tan by the loo. Two bottles, so you just get. So if you're just there doing a wee, just quickly slap it on. So you wee and tan simultaneously. Yeah, you wan. <laughs> God, wow, yeah, yeah. wow, I like that. They've all got fake boobs, so the boobs aren't important anymore. The cleavage is not a key kind of fashion. It's it's not, nothing you have to kind of. Um, spend any time thinking about. So that it's all about these legs. They have kind of tiny little short skirts and very brown, very shiny kind of oil slick legs. And it's the legs that are the, the thing that they have to work hard on. I liked Ryan Gosling this year. I think it's been Ryan's year. Yes. I like the fact that he was never afraid on the red carpet to wear something that was just not a black suit and a white shirt, which is what most men do. 
And so he sort of started the whole double-breasted trend off, which I was behind. Mm -hmm. And then at Cannes, he wore this amazing navy sort of pyjama style shirt with like a white trim with white trousers. That's a Gucci number. Mm -hmm. And then he just kind of, then it was a powder blue tux mm -hmm. and then he was snogging the director mm. on the red carpet. Mm. And then there was like a Balenciaga burgundy thing. I just loved that. For the he looks like he really enjoys it yeah, as well, doesn't he? Yeah, he seems to love it. I mean, he's not ugly, is he? Mm, no, I suppose, I suppose not. Who is ugly? <sighs> well, <laughs> I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't want to say that anyone was ugly, but I would say those jeans were. <laughs> Tell me about your thoughts on the jeans. I honestly think... What do you call this kind of jean? Nothing. Come on, you must have a it's name. Not, it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't deserve a name. <laughs> Uh, it's just bad. Yeah. And I remember, I remember everyone was talking about him being really inappropriate on telly. And I just thought, why are you focusing on that when he's wearing those? <laughs> um, it's just everything that's wrong about men as they get older. It's this kind of, I can't be bothered. I'm going to wear some loafers that look a bit like house slippers. And then I'm going to put on some really look old like jeans. Like pasties, like yeah. Cornish pasties. Exactly. I mean, it's that. I mean, honestly, is there anything his More, fly's undone there. Yeah, his fly's undone. That's him trying to do Rihanna. <laughs> Kanye. Not a good well, year Kanye. for him. Kanye. It's in not a way. been a great year. Do you, do you appreciate the fact that he tried to do his own collection on his no. own label? <laughs> not really. I don't either. I think he just should have done a perfume. He should have done a celebrity What's perfume. What's your message to Kanye? <laughs> My message to Kanye is babe. Babe, do, I mean, imagine Kanye, Kanye man or something. Has it, he, might, he might have done one already. I don't Just know a kind of has. citrus, a citrusy kind of a musky scent. Yep. In a sort of leather box. Why not? Why yeah. not a suede kind of pouch? Oh, I like this. Instead, oh, the pouch. Instead, Good word, Eva. he did. Instead of this, I feel like that is what he would wear if he was a girl. Mm -hmm. Do you like those shoes? I don't like these shoes. I think they look like um, slices of wedding cake, kind of left for three or four years, and then you know you keep them under your pillow or something, and then you put a Beckham heel underneath. So one of the biggest stories of the end of this year was the Versace H&M mm -hmm. Fandango. Did you queue up? Did you go no. down? <laughs> no. But only Did you see any of the queues? No, but only because I sort of felt by the time it got into the shops I'd sort of, sort of thought about it so much that I couldn't really deal with it anymore. That's but what I happens, thought it was it? sort of brilliant. I, th I thought it was sort of brilliant as well and brilliantly disgusting as well. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that. That's what that's what Versace is brilliant. At. Can you see? I mean, uh, these kind of bomber jackets yeah. and how they styled it, lay layered, and they also did what you really want, which is just those kind of big gold buttons and the kind of Bit trash. Of a Medusa, mm -hmm. Medusa head. Medusa. I don't think back in the 80s, Giovanni Versace would have gone anywhere near the high street. He'd have been appalled by the idea. And now you've got Donatella on a pink carpet on Regent Street in mm -hmm. some studs <laughs> that have. Um, and that dress probably cost just over 100 quid. And it sold out like mental. And it linked in with the other kind of trend of the year, which has been all this off taste. Um, all, all the bananas and all the polka dots and Marc Jacobs' little berets. plastic berets. Off taste was brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was fun. Yeah, a nice bananas. antidote to Kate Middleton's Zara dresses. And I think there's going to be a bit of that carrying over as well, like Dolce and Gabbana have done pasta earrings. Have they? Year. Oh good. Which I'll obviously and be wearing. And the Mew Mew kind of, uh, what are they, lightning bolts? Yeah. Things like that. So let's meet back this time next year and have some earrings on. Not bad. <laughs>